I'm essentially my story is overcoming adversity, having unwavering self-confidence and resilience to finally become a world champion at the fourth attempt when I had to face huge setbacks. Some lessons that I had to learn along the way and some attributes and traits that I had to accumulate. And this is essentially what it takes to become a champion. Now uh, I take things a little slower, but I do some commentary work on boxing, sometimes radio, sometimes TV. So that's how I dip my toe into boxing. I get to go to the shows and see the guys fight live, which is great fun for me. When I'm not doing that sort of stuff, I try and get down here, which is my amateur club, taking the amateur guys who are going to be the next stars of boxing. Dale Youth is one of the most successful amateur boxing clubs in the country. I've been affiliated with the club now before getting on for 25 years when I first came down here as a 10 year old. It's a real fascinating part of, of London, steeped in history and culture. You know, with Port Bella Road down the road and Notting Hill across the way. So yes, it's a great place. I'll do punchery on Sky Sports, sometimes on BT Sports where you're in front of the camera. And everything is now visual as well. So even the podcasting scene that people want to see you. So you got to half look at your best, even if you're just smart from the waist up. You're in the public eye and you know, there's a lot of things to deal with. Fortunately for me, you know, I, I took the good and the bad, the positive and the negative and managed to just bury it regardless, you know, and focus on my boxing and then was losing my hair throughout the, the end of my career and never really thought much about it. At the age of maybe 27, 28, I decided I'm going to shave it now, give myself a different look, reinvent myself like Madonna maybe or someone like that. I'd seen some friends and some colleagues and some people on TV who definitely had a hair transplant and it looked great. And then when the Fajo Clinic was introduced to me and I went online and looked at some of their results, it was just wow. And then I was excited and I was like, well, can I be a part of this? So far I've had two surgeries as such. So I was losing hair from the front each side and then I'm losing it at the crown as well. I've had some surgeries in my time now, mostly injury related. So I've had like dislocated shoulder, keel surgery on my knee. I've had a couple of broken jaws, you know, a few times I've been put to sleep and whatnot. It's as pleasurable, I suppose, as a surgery can be. You've got a TV on or music if you want. You can hear people milling around, but you feel confident in the setup, in the people and their expertise. I think that's something that may be a question mark for a lot of people. It's your hair. If they take the hair out and they don't put it back in properly, then that's gone. It's such an instant impact that you get in terms of results because all of a sudden you've got no hair and now you've got loads of hair. It feels like all the hair you could ever wish for. I'll be going to the same barber shop in Hammersmith, Charlie's Barbers. It's a lovely ego boost every time I go in there because they just tell me, wow, your hair's looking so good, it's so great. It makes me feel younger, it makes me feel more confident. I think that the times have moved along and there's no real stigma attached to this sort of stuff. I've got <laughs> some real macho friends. They're in their 30s and they're wearing braces or they're doing all these other alterations to look good. This is just going to wind back the years for you if you go to the right place and you see the right doctors never go as far as say it was an insecurity for me but it's definitely something that I enjoy now I feel my hair looks so much better than it did I mean there's a picture up in the bar with me winning the world title and I've got a, a shaved head and uh and then I come in now and I think the people who were trying to put two and two together so um I might need to get them an updated an updated picture <laughs>